There's a boat in the shed. I got it. doing in there exploring and look look what I found this was here the whole time I know right Meat's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Well? You want the good news, or the bad news? Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. We negotiate with them like civilized people. We must have something they'd be interested in taking in trade. Negotiate? With Crawford? Once again, I have to remind you. You have no idea what these people are like. They'll take what they want, and then decide whether or not to let any of you live. So what? No one has any ideas? There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, Grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. Okay. That's not bad. That's better. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? Anyone else have a problem with this plan? Because we're gonna need every one of us to pull this off. Man, I don't know. I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight. Under cover of dark, I'll go let my people know. 
give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? Is what going to be dangerous? Crawford. I can't lie to you, Clem. Yeah, it's going to be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. Neither do I, Clem, but sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. I guess I should go get ready. Uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. For children especially. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. Can't I come with you? I don't know which I should pick. I, I, I want to say yes, but I just, I'm so worried about her. Fine. Okay. You can come, but you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. It's a stupid idea, but I really. Just, 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 Clementine! Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So we're gonna have a capacity problem. Boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people. Even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Father. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. You're not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of... Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Help us how? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? I guess not. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Hold up just a sec. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... I'm not leaving her alone in the house with only Omi to protect her. It's just not happening. For what it's worth, I don't think it's a great idea either. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. Years, I know it's a stupid idea, but I just gotta toughen Clementine up a bit. I mean, I can't keep her out of harm's way forever. She does need to know how to do this kind of stuff. This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet, we stay hidden, and we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? And that part about staying close, that goes double for you.
Can't get a good look above with the cover on. Let's go. Ah, I see something. It looks like another one of them tools that Molly has. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange is all. I think I see one. Over there by the door. That's a walker. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak up trying to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. That's a walker. What the fuck? They've all been turned into walkers. What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Get inside, fast! I'm still willing to bet there's survivors here. I don't really want to run into them either. Fuck! Fuck! Do you think they saw us? Your guess is as good as mine. Oh no. Poor Clementine. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than armed guards. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Come on. I think I know which way to head. I get a feeling that the guy that's on the radio... I got a bad feeling about this. Oh, thanks, Ben. Thanks for interrupting me. I got a feeling the guy on the radio is somewhere near in Crawford. Clem's parents are close by. Just keep moving. Here. Looks okay. Everybody in. Figures. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Here. Give me a sec. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. 
Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? She's a survivor from Crawford. Where can we find some fuel for the boat? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. So then we just need a battery. This auto shop. It's right next door. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. What about Clementine? Oh, I know. She's got to stay here with Ben and make sure that Ben opens the door. What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? Oh, okay. Back before you know it. I actually like Clementine's reaction to being put together with Ben. It's like, you're leaving me here with Ben? The Georgia State flag. A lot of history there. Not that it matters much now, I guess. <laughs> 